So today's video is a video of a challenge that we're participating in. <coughs> what it essentially is, is keeping track of the birds that come to your uh, yard over the course of, uh, well, over the course of the year, but we'll, uh, we'll put the link up above. Birds are interesting, like these uh, American goldfinch in that birds are everywhere. Pretty much no matter where you live, you probably have birds somewhere around you. That's almost a given. And a lot of species of birds do a lot of things which are actually very beneficial if you are homesteading. It's, it's easy to overlook it or forget about it, but a lot of species, like again, these, this American goldfinch down in the uh, bottom right and this dark-eyed junco, are seed eaters. Now, while while that can uh, cause its own issues at times, they also eat a phenomenal amount of weed seeds throughout the year. So this is the view out the window at the moment. It's, uh, we're in the middle of a snowstorm, which is often a good time for uh, birds to come to a feeder setup. Now in the winter, uh, there's lots of uh, thoughts on it, but uh, we do feed the birds. Uh, we don't have a huge feeder setup, but we like it, it's enjoyable, and it's just one more thing that brings them to the yard. And then, even though today these guys are uh, taking advantage of the feeder setup, it is amazing when you get watching them how much they do feed on the weed seeds, etc. in your gardens. Like, we have uh, a rather large flock of dark-eyed juncos, which I'll show you in a minute, that, uh, yeah, they're in the gardens all the time. Actually, there's a junco right there. So having birds around is definitely a positive, but it's also kind of a good introductory to, I guess, like the ecology of your homestead. Because these are, birds are one part. And the bird populations change throughout the year. Uh, whereas some other wildlife that you have either isn't accessible for part of the year or, uh, or is a little more uh, resident. But anyways, we're going to take you through, on this uh, snowy day, the different birds that uh, have been coming to our feeder, uh, because this is going to be a good opportunity to catch uh, footage of a lot of them. Well, we're a little bit later in the day, and uh, as we suspected, the birds are coming in pretty good numbers. So, we've got a morning dove here that's uh, filling up on black oil sunflower seeds. Morning doves are interesting because like chickens, they do have uh, that uh, ability to store a lot of food and then go and sit and digest it, which a lot of the songbirds don't have that ability. And here's another bird that uh, is kind of interesting. This is a house finch, a male. And uh, he's actually been sticking around for quite a while and he seems to be the only one you can see him there with a uh, dark-eyed junco on the other side of the feeder. But he comes extremely regularly. He's here pretty much every day for at least a little bit of the time. A little bit of time. Now, house finches are interesting because they're not actually native to our area, but they are native to North America. They were uh, transplanted to the east coast uh, some time ago and have established themselves pretty decent. And we've had an arrival of a small group of house sparrow. The house sparrow is actually a, another species that was introduced from Europe. And uh, in some areas they're considered pests. There's all sorts of different uh, thoughts on that. We tend to find uh, we never get a, a very large number of them. And uh, they don't seem to be too big of an issue here. We actually kind of like them. They're one of those uh, non-native species that doesn't really seem to cause a major issue where we are at least. And of course some species like these uh, American goldfinch that are uh, on this feeder here are uh, in a different set of plumage this time of year. So they essentially go drab and it's difficult to tell the difference between males or females. And they will change color drastically as the springtime comes through uh, through summer but uh, again just kind of goes to show you some uh, variety that you're going to see even within the same species of course the northern cardinal is a uh, 
year-round resident where we are, but uh, in the winter time they become a uh, frequent visitor to the feeder setup. And of course, here's the female northern cardinal. Today we have quite a few woodpeckers and nut hatches coming to the feeder. It's a little downy there, and you can hear that little cheeping is a hairy up in the tree above me. The red-bellied woodpecker was also here this morning, so hopefully I can get some video of him at the feeder too. Today we are minus 19 Celsius, so Harry Woodpecker's very chatty, but he doesn't like my standing right here. Again, we have lots of chickadees and juncos, goldfinch, the usual at the feeder. Not sure if we'll be able to see it here. I don't know if I can show you him up here. There he is coming down to the branch. Oh, he decided not to. I'm videoing the feeders from inside today, but after all my trouble of getting a video of those hairy woodpeckers, there's two of them in that mulberry tree. We're just gonna wait for them to, here they come. It's a girl and a boy. It's funny how much the birds love that mulberry tree. They use it all the time as like a stopping point to be sure that they want to come to the feeders. They're being very reclusive woodpeckers today. Oh, there's one coming up to the top. Oh, and then off the wind. Oh, we have a new addition. They've got two female purple finch. One sitting right there in the tree. And there's another one right at the center of the screen there. And Harry Woodpecker is happily working on our suet. He loves the suet that actually came from our rabbits. When we uh, butchered them, we kept all the uh, suet, and that's the one he prefers. He likes that over the store-bought one. Oh, and there's his partner on the tree again. As we wrap up our uh, January homesteading birders video, one of the things that we definitely wanted to bring to people's attention was that uh, in February, on the 18th to the 21st, is the Great Backyard Bird Count. Uh, this is a citizen science project, again, where they ask people to uh, uh, watch their feeders, their backyards, that sort of thing, and report them on eBird. Now, eBird is a site that uh, we both, we keep records on. And uh, we'll put the link below for anybody that's interested in doing that same thing. It's free to use, and uh, it's a great citizen science tool. But for January, I think we've managed to show you quite a few different birds. 
but we wanted to kind of get a video posted participating in this homesteading birders. Uh, if you're interested in participating as well, if you happen to be a homestead birder, uh, just use the hashtag homesteading birders. And uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy following along with all of you and seeing what you get on your homesteads. <laughs> 